Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing well. Today we are going to begin with the gram staining. Gram staining is uh, one of the most important differential staining which differentiates the bacteria on the basis of their cell wall structure. So let us see what we are going to do. Let us see what all we need for conducting gram staining. First of all, uh, we will need the basic things like a sample, which is again buttermilk. We will need a tissue paper, spirit lamp, and a matchstick. The bacterial loop, uh, which will which will be used to make the bacterial smear. Among the reagents, we will need the crystal violet dye, the first basic dye, followed by Graham's iodine. Then we will need 95% of ethanol and the secondary dye that is safranin. So. First of all, we will light up the lamp. We spread a clean filter paper. Onto it, we put our clean slide. We sterilize the bacterial loop until it's red hot. We will take our sample, which happens to be this buttermilk, and we'll gently pick up the sample. Now, in by holding it between our fingers, by holding the edges between our fingers, we'll prepare the bacterial smear this way using the circular motion. After this. We will heat fix our slide following the sterilization of the loop this way, keeping it little above the flame. See, it's done. We will begin with the primary dye that is the crystal violet. We will flood the slide with it and keep it like this for around 60 seconds. After 60 seconds, we'll wash, uh, we will wash it in a gentle stream of water this way. You can still see that how the smear has got stained. This will be followed by the addition of the grams iodine. We will take a dropper and put few drops of grams iodine here at. We will let it remain like this for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we will wash it also and dip it in 95% of ethanol. for 10 seconds so it's done we just need to give it a gentle wash after this uh, we are going to add the saffron in that is our secondary dye and let it flood for around 60 seconds so now after 60 seconds we will again give it a gentle wash pan dry it this way and begin our microscopic examination so I have taken this light and this is our microscope we will switch it on and put on the lights to give bright field now using this slide adjuster we will adjust our slide and we have different magnification so we will begin with the 4x that is 4 times magnification of the size of bacteria so by the coarse adjustment and fine adjustment we will first of all see that where our stain is and we will zoom it up Similarly, we can do it at different magnifications level. You can see the microscopic view of the slide on your screen. The bacteria have stained themselves red. 
This is because they retained the sephronin or the secondary dye. Some of you may wonder why the lactobacillus bacteria stain themselves negative. They are gram positive because. But uh, the reason is that the sample I took was few days old. Now as soon as the culture or the sample becomes aged, the staining property gets weakened up. Hence, one can say that as the sample age keeps on increasing, the ability to retain the crystal molecular decreases. That's why the gram-positive bacteria lactobacillus retained the sephronin color and not the crystal violet. After completing the practical demonstration of the gram stain, let us see what happens at the microscopic or theoretical level. As I said, gram staining is one of the most important differential staining. developed by one of the great scientists guys. So first of all we prepared the bacterial smear and the source which we used was buttermilk. It was followed by heat fixing using a spirit lamp. After this a sequence of reagents are to be added beginning with the crystal violet. The first basic dye. It was retained for around 60 seconds, followed by the addition of a mordant which binds this crystal violet and the iodine. Means the crystal violet is the dye and the mordant is iodine. It forms complex with the crystal violets and helps in retention in the cell wall of the bacterial cell. So, grounds iodine. It was retained for around 30 seconds, followed by dipping it in 95% of ethanol so that the gram ne the, the negative bacteria's lipopolysaccharide membrane can wash off. So, this was followed by ethanol wash, having 95% volume to volume concentration. After that, we added the secondary dye that is sephronin, imparting a red color to the washed off cell structures and it was also detained for around 60 seconds. Following this the uh, slides were air or pet dried and then we observed them in the microscope and uh, we could do the morphological studies as well as the differentiation on the basis of cell wall structures. So this was all about gram staining. This was all about today's video. Thank you for watching it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Also comment the queries if you have any. For more such related content, you can also follow our WhatsApp group whose link is given in the description box. Meet you in the next video. Thank you.